Hello there, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be addressing the question that I get so often, Cherilee, what do you do on those days when you don't feel like wearing a full face of makeup, but you just wanna have enough on your face that you don't scare yourself when you walk by a mirror or scare a neighbor that might pop in, or like in my case over the weekend, I had workers come in to give an estimate and I didn't wanna frighten them when I opened the door. So today's look is going to be super easy, super fast. It's foundation free. It's definitely the least amount of makeup that I've ever done that I personally actually really loved throughout the day as I went on. Now, I am not going to put myself on a timer today because that just always makes me really stressful and I know it makes you guys stressful too, but this is definitely a look you can do in five minutes or less. But I am going to leave the video of me applying the makeup uncut. So it's just gonna be the full time to blend everything in so that you get a realistic look at how this works and how quick this can be. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Now let's get started. All right, the first step is kind of random, but I'm just going to use a little bit of almond oil. It's been at least 45 minutes since I did my skincare this morning and I did apply eye cream, but I want a little extra hydration right here for concealer. We are gonna use a little concealer today, but first I'm going to apply sunscreen. So I did apply moisturizer, but not sunscreen. And so today I am using a combination of two shades of the Australian Gold Botanical Tinted Face Sunscreen. Now, the reason why I have chosen this is because it is a wonderful matte kind of silicone texture finish. So I don't feel like I have to powder when I use this. It gives some good light coverage, but it is not as much coverage as you would get from like an IT Cosmetics CC cream. So I really enjoy this sunscreen, especially for hot summer days. If you have drier skin, go ahead and use your favorite tinted sunscreen. But for me, this just dries down to a beautiful matte finish and it stays really well through the day and it is water resistant. So that is also a good perk. So I'm gonna put a little bit of that under my eyes, a little bit here over the eyelids. I'm not going all the way down to my lash line because I have oily lids. I'm not using a primer today. I know, shock of all, I'm trying to make this a little easier, skip a few steps, but sunscreen can become problematic if it starts seeping down into your eyes. Okay, I feel like I got that pretty well blended in. You can always go in with your makeup brush if you want to and around the nose if you feel like you need to blend more. Now, normally I do this at the sink so I can wash my hands, but here at the makeup table, I'm just gonna use a wet wipe to wipe off my hands. Next step is going to be a little bit of concealer. I'm using the Revlon 5-in-1 Revlon Concealer in 050. So this is a little bit darker of a shade than I typically use when I'm doing a full face of foundation. And that is because I feel like this is closer to the color of my skin at the moment, especially with that tinted sunscreen. And so it allows me to kind of add a little extra coverage in a few areas. And I just think it looks more natural on the skin. So as you can see, I'm taking a little bit of that on the eyelids. I'm just going in now with the A506 from BK Beauty, and I'm going to work that under the eyes, over the eyelids, and up to the brow. And again, just concentrate this on areas that you just have maybe a little extra redness. So we're not doing full coverage foundation. This is for those days when you feel like you're having a really good skin day, you can just get away with a little bit of concealer. It's gonna look still very natural, like it's your skin, just a little more evened out. And my skin is the type that <laughs> when I am touching it and working on it, it gets a little red, but then it calms down. So that's why I like to do kind of these 
face steps first here. Let my skin calm down and then we'll come back and add a little bit of bronzer and blush. So just working that in. Again, it's just gonna depend on how much, how much redness or coverage you need. I think that's about good for me. And this sunscreen, you can tell when it starts to sink in and settle in, it definitely starts getting a little more of a matte finish and smooths out. So I'm gonna let that sit for a moment. And now for the eyes and the eyebrows. Let's do eyebrows next. I'm going to use just a tiny bit of the IT Cosmetics Universal Brow. And all I'm going to do is add a tiny touch of it right here at the arch because I'm missing some hair there. So I'm not gonna do a full on super carved out brow, but I am going to give myself just a little extra defining of the brow. I think a light fill in of the brows really helps. That's for me personally. Again, if you have naturally full brows or you've got microbladed brows, you get to skip this step. Now this pencil is not waterproof. I do have one that is, that I'll show you at the end. But you can see I didn't take it in nearly as far as I normally do. And I'm just doing the lightest fill in that I can get away with. So just kind of fill a little bit in, take a step back, see if you think it's good enough. I am doing a little little bit of defining here on the lower part of the brow and then just really lightly here at the front and um, I'm not going to use a brow gel today but I do have one that if you are going swimming I used it when I went to actually to the spa it was an outdoor kind of lots of pools kind of spa Day and oh my goodness, it totally locked in my brows all day long. So I'll share that with you at the end. Okay, so just a little bit, just a little bit of brows. Now, I just pulled out my eyeshadow brush from yesterday, just putting on a tiny little bit of what remains of eyeshadow on there. And then I'm also going to just kind of brush that over the lid so if you don't wash your brushes every day, like me, this is going to be like your best friend because I'm also just gonna take a brush that was my crease brush for yesterday and the little bit that is left on that brush is going to be just enough to put a little something through the crease. Do you see that? I mean, who thinks that was easy? I do. <laughs> Okay, now for the face, that sunscreen's nearly soaked in. It needs probably a little more time, but we're gonna go ahead in with a little bit of contour. I'm using the Rare Beauty Contour Stick or Bronzer Stick, and I think I have it in the shade Good Energy. Now what I have determined, I shared this in, I think it was my recent Get Ready With Me video, is that this one does better if you start off working it in with your fingers first and then go in with your brush to kind of finish blending it in. Now you could also in this step, you could do a little bit of concealer. If you feel like you need a little extra coverage on your cheeks, you could use a darker concealer here and that will add some coverage, but still give you that kind of bronzy glow to your cheeks. I'm just gonna work that in and then I will do a little bit here and a little on the nose. These are just areas that I like to have just a little definition for. Again, nothing too crazy. I did already fix my hair, so I'm trying not to mess up my hair too much. But I think sometimes it helps to go ahead and do your hair before you do this because then you see exactly kind of how your finished look is going to look. <laughs> so if you're 
kind of adding, sometimes I tend to add more makeup, more makeup if I'm not liking how things are looking and it might be just because I haven't fixed my hair yet. You know what I'm saying? So let's add a little bit here. All right. And then for cheek color, I, again, I'm gonna use a cream product because I'm not setting my face with powder and I just think it's sometimes easier, especially if you're in a hurry, to just go in with the creams. So I'm using this one by LYS and this color is Confident. I'm gonna add a little bit of confidence by just adding a little bit of some cheek color here. And this is the rougher number four brush. I love this brush for cream products. And I just feel like blush is one of those things that really wakes up your complexion. All right, and then let's add a little bit of some mascara, but we're only going to do a little tiny bit. I did just this little tiny bit over the weekend and I was shocked at how much I just loved just the little extra kind of volume at the lash line, but not making my lashes look kind of stand out from the look because sometimes if I go in with a full two coats of mascara, it throws off the rest of the look. It makes the whole look seem a little unbalanced. So I'm gonna use the Calorate Mascara, the tubing mascara. This again is an area, if you're going to the pool, you're gonna to want to maybe opt for just a waterproof mascara. I always get free samples, I feel like, of the Too Faced waterproof mascara, and I just keep that on hand for those random days when I'm gonna be going to the pool. That one's pretty good. Or the drugstore, you can just get an inexpensive one. So you can see I just, just put a little bit on this outer corner, wiggled the wand, and then just brought it through slightly. I am not going to add any on the lower lashes. We're just doing uppers. And then I do have one final little tip we're gonna do on the lashes at the very end. So again, just really almost just putting this right at the roots. And this will also help prevent you from getting mascara on your lid if you ever do that. I do that all the time especially if you have hooded eyes, you understand how hard it is to keep that area mascara free. Now, the lips. This is an area that surprisingly makes a big difference. Now you could go in with something bold here. I'm not doing bold, but I am doing a lip liner and this is Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium. And I just, it's amazing. What a difference a defined lip makes. Now you can, I am going to just work this in a little bit. And then we're going to put on a gloss and this is where I kind of like to brighten it up for the summer. Fall, you could choose something more warm, toasty brown. This is the White Russian Sparkle from Buxom. And let's just put this on. This is a very long lasting gloss and plumping. Okay, there we go. What do you think? As I look over here on this cheek, I feel like I got a little, a little out of control with my bronzer here and that's okay. So all I'm gonna do is just take my little concealer and kind of maybe work that in. And there we go. We have our, our concealer is worked in. It's not overly stark and white underneath, but I feel like I look kind of put together. If you are super oily, you may want to go ahead and 
and touch up with some powder through the t-zone or later in the day if you need to go about you know go out somewhere and you feel like you're looking oily just add a little a little powder but i feel like i am good to go the final tip with the lashes i told you I've been experimenting with this lash curler. Shona Scott showed this as a way to just add a little bit of lift to your lashes in certain areas. So I'll be honest, it's taken me a few tries and, a, and quite, quite a lot of trial and error to get this correct. But you just go on the outer corner and because the outer part of my lashes do you see how that just lifted that just a little bit more? I'm gonna do that over here. You just have to be super careful that you don't pinch your lid because there's no pad here, but you do the pad underneath and it just adds that little extra lift on the outer corner. You can use it kind of, you know, all along your lash line, but that is it. So here we go. Let me move my mirror out of the way here. here is our finished look. What do you think? Like I said, I did this over the weekend. Somebody was coming to give us an estimate and I thought, you know, this is not terrible and I would actually wear this throughout the day. My skin feels good, it's protected. If I'm going to the pool, gonna be outside, I don't have to worry. So like I mentioned, for the pool, this is a great option. It is water resistant, I think for 80 minutes. And this, like, I need an oil cleanser to actually get off my skin. So it does set and stay really well. For eyebrows, if you're going to the pool and you need a waterproof version, the Gimme Brow, this is the volumizing pencil, the powder pencil from Benefit. I hope this is still available. This is waterproof. I use this when I go to the salon and get my hair done. I've tested it there. I've tested it at the spa day. And then the trick to really lock it in your brows, and this actually has worked even if I don't use the waterproof pencil, is the got to be glued spiking hair gel. I mean, this would be a lifetime worth of brow gel if you only use this on your brows. I do recommend using a disposable spoolie because it will, like it becomes like glue on here and you really cannot wash it off. So use a disposable spoolie like this and just brush it through your brows and it is amazing what a difference that makes. So overall, I feel like I am ready to go for the day. That was super easy. Hopefully you all enjoyed this. Be sure you check the description box down below for a link and list of everything that I used today and I'll see you next time. Bye.